Hello, I'm Jeff Jedders uh, for Computer Dealer News uh, here at the Sage Summit Conference in National Harbor, Maryland, uh, where I'm joined by Tom Miller, uh, the Vice President of Channels for Sage North America. Big uh, pieces of news uh, that you dropped this week. Uh, a few partners I've spoken to have called it a bombshell. Is the rebranding uh, of the Sage brands uh, in North America uh, that you hope to have, com have complete by 2013. Uh, so the iconic uh, historic brands like 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 Peachtree, Agpac, uh, Sales Logic uh, will be dropped uh, in favor of a, of a focus on the Sage brand. Uh, so Tom, uh, maybe you could speak to uh, the thinking behind that change uh, and how the process will be playing out. Oh sure, Jeff. Um, the process is that uh, we have begun the process and we wanted to share with partners first our thinking and gather feedback from them and you know you've received a lot of feedback as we have so we know that this is a very big thing to do we also know that there's a tremendous emotional attachment to our brands uh, but we also feel strongly that the sage brand itself in North America is relatively unknown and yes, we do have products that are iconic in terms of how long they've been in the marketplace and what they represent, and we're very sensitive to that. However, looking forward, the value of those products can only be enhanced if the Sage brand is strong. And in order to do that, we have to focus on the Sage brand. I personally am very excited about that. I'm excited about it for partners in particular because if, if we are able and I feel confident we will get to the point where the Sage brand represents an incredible customer experience, then the benefits will accrue to everyone. It will accrue to our customers, it will accrue to our partners, and it will accrue to Sage. In, in my uh, career in this industry, which is over 30 years, I've actually participated in six major brand changes. And uh, I understand completely. As a matter of fact, in two of those, I was closely, closely associated with the brand name that got changed. And it was emotional for me because it meant something to me because I'd been with it so long. But I have to tell you, in every one of those cases, there is a point in time after the change occurs that everyone to the person said, we should have done it sooner. I, I think most writers I've talked to see the the value in it, but uh, how do you help them through the process? It seems to me that the hand-holding will be the key thing here. Well, um, and you ask about the process, and uh, a, a, an important component of the process is the next step, which is actually taking all this feedback and actually getting partners involved in work groups around what should the brand names be and how do we go through this change together. And it is important that partners understand that we are in this together. And uh, uh, again, for lots of reasons, one of which is that uh, if we're able to achieve that brand promise and make the Sage brand again an icon for customer service and, and customer satisfaction, then the benefits that accrue are, are just incredible. It, it, it makes it so much easier to find and attract. In many cases, the customers want to come to you because of that. And that lowers your operating cost immensely and allows you to invest in other things that customers need to continue that momentum. So you plan to be in, in the market by 2013 uh, with the new naming scheme, which is still being being worked out, but uh, you know you've done this before, as you mentioned. Uh, it'll it'll take take a bit longer before you get the level of brand recognition in the market uh, that you want. So, uh, what's the time frame? I'm not sure if you have one in mind here, here specifically, but based on on past experience, how long will it take before you know you've achieved that level of brand recognition that you that you're looking for? Well, and uh, it it's it's somewhat ominous to predict that. And I would say of the, uh, of the six that I've gone through and the two in particular that I was directly connected with, you know, it was anywhere from 12 to 18 months when you actually could see some visible evidence in terms of the brand change. And, it, you know, that could vary depending upon our methods, depending upon, you know, what we do from a communication standpoint. But we're totally committed to this. So we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that we do it as effectively as possible 
inclusive of all the partners and what we provide to them, and we go to market in a unified manner uh, to achieve this, this pretty lofty objective. So the brand, of course, is one thing, but if you, if you don't have the, the technology, uh, then the brand is for naught. Uh, there's been some talk uh, this week about the cloud, about connected services. Uh, how are you uh, looking to bring your partners on board with that? And uh, particularly from a compensation point of view, how are you adjusting your, comp your partner, partner compensation models uh, to ensure that they're in, in a position to make money off the cloud? We've already gone down the path in terms of defining a business model for ACPAC Online, which has been you know, in the market for over four years. And in the last year alone has, has seen significant growth. So this is a model where the customer can pay a monthly usage fee instead of a license fee up front. And, and as I said, you know, we were ahead of the curve in terms of getting to a business model that customers wanted. Because in reality, the customers do not want the cloud. They want to be able to have a lower cost of operation on a monthly basis in some scenarios, okay? So we address that with ACPAC Online. Well, the compensation model for partners there is a, re a renewing, re uh, reimbursement so they get a monthly uh, fee or an annual fee depending upon the renewal basis uh, so they get into a rhythm of having you know kind of this pay-as-you-go not just from a customer standpoint but also from a partner standpoint our connected services strategy I think is a brilliant one I think our online strategy is a brilliant one because we can deliver a lot more functionality as far as our product sets are concerned than our competitors who are purely SaaS or purely cloud today. In addition to that, what our customers are telling us is they want options. And a lot of deployments, some of them they want on-premise with a connected service. Others want to have it online. And they can do that with ACPAC online. And we announced here Mass90 online. So we've got a very strong lineup of products and solutions that allow partners to deliver whatever the needs of the customer are. Great, thanks Tom. Uh, for Computer Dealer News at State Summit in National Harbor, Maryland, I'm Jeff Jedders, thanks for watching.